Hey doc, it's Chris Burfield and welcome to the Chiropractic Underground's Q&A session where you get to ask me any practice building question your big heart desires. And today we have an excellent question from Dr. Brian. Actually, he has a two-part question. He wants to know, Chris, what is your most effective marketing strategy today? And do you recommend a group doctor's report or a one-on-one -on -one ROF? Great questions, Dr. Brian. And I'm going to answer those for you today. There are two marketing strategies that I highly recommend that every practice do. These are two of the most effective marketing strategies I think an, a chiropractic office can implement. Number one are referral marketing campaigns. And campaigns is the key word there. And also chiropractic dinner workshops. So let me explain what a referral marketing campaign is. The first thing that you want to do is you want to create a theme for the month and your marketing campaign should last anywhere from two weeks to four weeks depending on the particular promotion. But you, ca but you have a theme. So for example, this month uh, in my Illuminati internal marketing system, uh, I'm having the docs throw a patient appreciation day as a potluck dinner. So they're bringing turkey. Their patients are bringing all the trimmings and there's a whole program that goes along with it. But uh, it gives the, you know, it just gives the doctor an opportunity to really show the patients how much they appreciate them and actually sit down and give thanks together this time of year. But the campaign isn't just handing somebody a flyer and saying, hey, we're having a potluck dinner, sign up right here. There's a whole, there are patient education handouts that go along with it. There are gift certificates. There are um, specific ways that we decorate the office and um, make sure that our patients always have top of mind awareness. And we're just constantly promoting it for you know three weeks leading. We start in the beginning of November and then promote it all the way up through Thanksgiving. And then as soon as that campaign ends, there's a small break and then we go into the Christmas season, which we have the Here Comes Santa Claus Christmas promotion where we actually mail a letter from Santa Claus addressed from the North Pole to our patients. And then after we do the mailing, we wait for, we wait a few days to make sure that the patients um, get the letter. And it usually takes a day or two for local mail to be delivered. And then when they come in, we just ask them, we say, hey, have, did you see it? Did you get anything unexpected in your mailbox this week? And they're going to say, oh, yeah, I got a letter from Santa Claus. And then a lot of times, though, we don't even have to do that. They come in and they, they're, they'll come in to get their adjustment and they'll be like, so uh, I got a letter from Santa yesterday. And we're like, oh, you did? So and then, you know, we kind of laugh and chuckle about it. But it gets people excited. We decorate the office with Christmas decor and whatnot. We've got flyers hanging up. We're constantly talking about it. There are patient education handouts that, are, um, that we're giving to patients to help educate them about what's so amazing and wonderful about chiropractic. We tie it in with a toy drive. So it's a big campaign. So if you're doing referral marketing where you're like have a whiteboard and you're just like, you know, this month you can get – your exam for just $47, uh, only 10 exams available, and that's all you're doing and you're handing them a flyer, you're not going to generate near as many referrals as you would if you actually did a campaign. So that referral marketing kit has 13 different campaigns that you can run in it throughout the year. If you go to chiropracticunderground.com, um, you'll see the navigation link at the top of the page. I think it says Illuminati referral marketing system and you can check it out. Um, but, or just host your own, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I, the cool thing about the Illuminati, everything's done for you, but you know, you could do your own referral marketing campaigns in your office. Um, the other thing is the dinner workshop. So Chris, Dr. Chris Zana recently did a product launch of his dynamic dinner and Chris gets anywhere. He gets 50 plus, he does three dinner workshops a month and he gets 50 plus patients and friends to attend those dinners every single month. So you're talking 150 people attending those dinners every single month. And he has one of the largest practice, the largest practice in the country uh, currently. Um, so, but Chris does it where, you know, you invite the whole office and you invite all the new patients that come in and have them bring guests and everything. And you can do it that way. Or you can even host 
private dinner workshops. So this is actually what I did in my office. Um, and either way is a great way to, um, to build your practice. But what I did is we would host these private dinners where we pick like the top 20 or not 20, the top, yeah, top 20%. I was going to say 20 people, the top 20% of our patient base and privately invite them to a dinner. So we're not inviting the whole clinic. So what we would do is we would have certain criteria like do they make all their appointments? Are they up to, up to date on their payments? Um, have they referred people in the past? Are they pleasant to be around? You know, do we actually enjoy having them in the office? And we would have this criteria and what we would do is we would privately, we would go get um, cards and an envelope and then we would handwrite an invitation. You can print one as well, but we would handwrite it just to make it a little more personal. And we would invite that patient to come and have dinner with us and tell them they can bring up to two guests with them. So we might only have maybe five or six people a month that we did that with. So it wasn't like we were inviting the whole clinic. It was maybe five or six people. Each one of them brings at least one person, let's say. And you know, you're talking 10 to 12 people that are attending. And then we would just host a private dinner. Now, if you'd like to learn more about how to do that, I actually have a free 18-page report that you can go and download from my blog. It's chiropracticunderground.com. And when you get there, look on the right-hand side and you will see the 18-page report. Just opt in with your email address and you can download it instantly. So now the next question that Dr. Brian asks is, do you recommend a doctor's report or one-on-one? Or one -on -one? Yeah, that's really up to you. It's whatever you you are most comfortable with. Um, for example, I've tried, I mean, I for about a year and a half in the office, we did group reports. And I enjoyed them because I do like getting up and speaking in front of people. But for me and my staff, it was a little difficult to try and coordinate and get all of our people to attend on that one on that one day. So here's what would end up happening. We would have like, you know, we would have maybe like 10 new patients that month or that week um, come into the clinic and I'd have to do these reports and I would try to get them all on one day where I did them all together and this person couldn't make it for this reason and whatnot. And, you know, that's probably that all goes back on me. Maybe I wasn't really stressing it enough, but I got to a point where our conversions were like 30 percent. They were really low. So we were converting like, you know, 30, maybe 40 percent of all the people that came into the office. And then I switched to one on one report of findings. And I actually learned my report of finding from Dr. John Demartini. Uh, he had a, used to have a book that I don't believe is any longer available. It's called The Best of the Best Report of Findings. And I studied that book and I started doing one on ones. And we went to we went from like converting 30 to 40 percent to converting 70 to 80 percent of all the patients that came into our office. Now, it was more work because I had to do more reports, but the payoff was a lot was a lot greater. So it all really depends on you and what you really enjoy doing. I enjoyed um, doing the report of findings and um, I actually have a video that I'm gonna provide a link here at the bottom. Um, one, of, uh, one of my good friends, uh, Dr. Jose from Florida, he uh, was having trouble with a group report that he was doing and he recorded it. And then what I did is I went through and critiqued it because he was converting like 40%, I think, as well of their new patients. And he, uh, what, he shot the video of his report of findings. I critiqued it, gave him some pointers. It's about an hour long, the video. Um, I gave him some pointers, told him to reduce his report from 45 minutes to 20 minutes. And they ended up converting 100% of those patients that week after implementing those additional strategies. So you may find some value in that. I don't know if you're currently doing uh, group reports or one-on-ones or what, but, um, but anyway, uh, again, it's all, all depends on you and what you want to do. So anyway, I hope you found some value in this. And in the meantime, keep saving lives.